Greetings all, this is The One Nerd. I want to welcome you to another edition of The Worst Unboxing Ever. And today we have an unboxing of something that is highly anticipated among uh, me specifically and uh, collectors in general. As some of you may know, uh, there was a Kickstarter not that long ago for new Spawn figures. Todd McFarlane uh, put out a Kickstarter for a uh, specific, very uh, detailed and collector-oriented uh, Spawn figures. Uh, there were three figures, uh, more of a uh, classic, uh, modern, and uh, some you know different variants with uh, different extras and what have you. Uh, they took a while to come out, and they're finally here. Uh, they've been coming out in waves. They've been having, obviously, some issues uh, with the uh, figure distribution, with the pandemic, and different things going on. But I specifically, uh, just got my uh, Kickstarter uh, figure. I only got one, because I only really care about the uh, the classic uh, Spawn look. I haven't really been following up that much on uh, current uh, Spawn uh, comics, but who knows, you know, maybe getting this, maybe getting uh, reinvigorated might, uh, you know, do that. Now, McFarlane Toys, while I get this open, has actually had kind of a weird, uh, I don't want to say renaissance as of lately, but they've been more prominent in toys lately. They've gotten a lot of uh, different um, uh, different lines. Uh, some you would expect, some you wouldn't expect. Like stuff that you would expect, like uh, they got the uh, Cyberpunk line, uh, they got uh, the My Hero Academia line, which is uh, pretty hit and miss. McFarlane can be good. Uh, DC stuff has been good. I've liked their DC stuff. Uh, even though I don't collect specifically, I still can appreciate uh, the figures. Ugh. This has got some pretty good packaging, I gotta say. So we got our shipper box uh, to start, and then we got another little box inside that is very well packaged. It's got these little these little things in there to keep it from moving around too much. Ugh. Just throw these back in here. There we go. All right, and we got another shipper box. It's been triple sealed. This tape is pretty good. I might have to get some scissors on this. Hold on. Let me go grab some. I can usually open up a lot of this tape stuff pretty easily, but this is really, they really tape this up. I appreciate that. I appreciate how, you know, secure everything is here. Yeah, there we are. All right. So, got some extra paper here. Let's look at the actual box. Let's slide it out of here. Here, let's slide it like this so I don't damage it. All right, so again, I only got one, and it was the classic one. Because again, that's the, that's the spawn that I'm more familiar with, and that's the one that, uh, you know, I care about more. But uh, here we got, this is the classic spawn uh, box here. Very nice looking. It's got some nice uh, shiny lettering on here and on the side. Looks very nice. Got a little date there. And it comes in with the slip cover. So let's go ahead and take this off. And very nice, very nice little logo there. It's got the little, got this little ribbon thing so you can open it up. Let's open this up here. Whoop, something fell out. Hmm, it's got what? It's got that freshly, freshly manufactured smell to it. All right, what do we got here? All right, so uh, we've got. Let's see, got a Masterworks. Uh, checklist here, which kind of gives us a rundown of the differences between the original figure and this new one, because this is supposed to be a uh, a remake, a remaster, if you will, of the original Spawn figure from 1994. So this is kind of a checklist here of the all the things that the original uh, five-inch figure uh, had compared to what all the new stuff that the seven-inch figure has, uh, which is nice. And it also comes with this little certificate of authenticity from uh, Spawn, uh, McFarland Toys, excuse me, Masterworks, which is nice, nice little touch, you know. Uh, and it does also mention Spawn Masterworks uh, also has a stay tuned for the next one. So obviously this was a pretty big success. Uh, so despite the, uh, the shipping uh, issues, which I don't think anyone can blame uh, McFarland Toys for, because again, with all, everything that's been going on, I don't think they can specifically blame them for it, but you know. All right, now, 
let's get the the little the protective thing off of here. Look at that. They probably can't see this very well, but we got some packaging in here, which I'm sure we're gonna see a little bit better once I actually take it out. But I got the accessories, I got the sword and the uh, ecto streams here. So let's go ahead and actually take this out. Now, as some of you may know, if you've seen my previous uh, unboxings, I am in fact a guy who likes to let him breathe. So this will not be, I will probably keep this box. This is a nice box, you know, if I need it to like for storage or what have you. Look at this, it, 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 it really well captures the, the look of the packaging of the uh, original figure. Got everything in there. And what's nice about this is that uh, it also comes with the comic. And what's also nice about this is that they mentioned this in the Kickstarter, that the packaging itself is one of those that can be uh, opened opened up and resealed so you don't have to you know rip open or like cut open the package in order to get in it which is nice for collectors uh who actually care about you know keeping it in the package again i don't but it's nice for those people who do like to keep stuff in packages for display purposes uh so we got the uh the back here with our spawn comic and this also is nice it also comes in a way that you can take out the comic uh, from the packaging without having to rip anything so that it can be re-put back in there if you need to. Uh, I'll be sure to get this into a uh, bag and board because I'm going to keep it in there. Uh, but we got what looks to be a uh, reprint of the original uh, Spawn number one. Let me just look through this. Okay, it's not quite that. It's not quite a... Uh, a reprint. This appears to be one of those uh, special. Uh, it seems to be one of those special director's cut comics, uh, where it's not exactly the comic, but you get uh, some. You get a little bit some extras and what have you. So you can see the pages here. They're not. Uh, they're not colored. They're more like you know taken straight from uh, you know the director stuff and as has some added things to it, which is nice. You know, obviously just a just a reprint would be kind of lame because. Sure, most people have Spawn number one. I mean, it's, it's there's an abundance of Spawn number ones. I'm saying is what I'm saying, but this is nice. You know, you get a little bit of uh, extras here. You get to see. Uh, so again, if you've ever picked up a director's uh, cut of a comic before, which it, there have been a couple of them for like different number ones and what have you, you'll you'll see kind of like these like. Uh, uh, pages, uh, script pages, now they translate to the comic, you know, it's nice. And also we get uh, on here, uh, we get the original uh, ad, although they seem to spell it on here A-D-D -D, for some reason. Uh, so the original ad, not uh, the original ad. But they do mention, they do show the original ad uh, for the Spawn toys, which kind of leads me to believe that you know, these are the these are these are more ones that they're uh, possibly going to think about making uh, remakes out of. Probably not the vehicles. There's probably a lot that's going to go into that. Although with Kickstarter, you never know. I mean, if you want to, if, if you can, if you can raise that money, then you can probably do it. All right, let's actually open, get the figure out of here. Again, the packaging is really well made in a way to, again, make sure that it looks good. And again, you can just take it out of there without having to worry about um, ruining it or having to, uh, uh, you know, you can't put it together again if you're a collector. Okay. Just getting the tape off of the side of the plastic here. There we are comes off easily enough all right so this is this is the this here without the plastic covering the cape is looking nice it seems as though most of this thing is cape all right let's take this out carefully here carefully all right and let's get so it's got some accessories actually in the cape so let's go ahead and take those out real quick Oh, that's why. It's got, it's got some of these little things on here. Hold on. Let me go ahead. I was having some trouble getting it out there, but then it's got these little 
uh, plastic tags. Uh, I don't want to use scissors for these. I got something else for these. Hold on. I find that scissors are a bit too uh, long to really handle these. I like to use nail clippers instead. Although I am always anxious about accidentally clipping something like off the figure, but haven't done it yet. So, all right, let's take a look here. I want to make sure that I see the articulation of the cape so I know not to, where not to bend it. There we go. Okay, let's just open up the cape a little bit so we can see. All right, here we are. We've got our spawn figure. And again, this cape is, the, the cape is articulated in these two places right here. So obviously I'm just keeping it really big and open so you can actually see the figure. It's got these chains, which I know you can't, you know, really get a sense of the feel of them through the camera, but they do actually, they feel like chains. Here, listen. Listen to that. Hear that? That's the sound of a chain. They actually like weighted chains on here. That's a really nice touch. That's what you get from Kickstarter, I guess. Uh, of course, it's got the, you know, standard, change the, the, the head and the arms and legs and what have you so you can uh, get it into your perfect position. It's got that nice, uh, it's got a nice like feel that it's like being clicked into place. And we also got articulation, not just in the, uh, the feet, but also in the toes here. Look at that. You can get it in any position that you, that you want as well as the figure and the stuff that came in here were a uh, figure stand, which you always want to have uh, figure stands in these with these types of figures. Always nice to have those. And you also got some accessories, uh, including extra hands, of course, and a uh, assault rifle. Nice. And some other accessories, which I believe these accessories were uh, stretch goals. Uh, which is why they're not actually in the figure because they didn't weren't included with the original figure. But I believe these were stretch goals. Uh, you have a, a demon sword. There we are. The nice logo there. You have a ectoplasm like knife with the green uh, see through coloring there, as well as little strands here you can ectoplasm strands Oops. excuse me go with the right there as well as a extra unma unmasked sort of like not specifically unmasked but unmasked like kind of uh, enraged uh, demon head I do believe that was a stretch goal. But me, specifically, I will more than likely just display it uh, as is, as it was uh, packaged, uh, just as this. Uh, you know, you, you might have some instances where I will kind of mix it up and uh, change the, uh, the legs. I'm sorry, <laughs> the hands. And then we put that sword uh, in his hand here, because that is very nice looking. But for now... Uh, honestly, it, if it, if I'm being honest, I can't remember exactly how much I spent on this figure. I can't because it was so long ago and I've done so many other Kickstarters, uh, since then, but whatever I paid for it, I must've, I must've felt it was a good value to get just one figure because I paid for it. I wouldn't have paid for it if I felt that it was not a, a quality figure. And with this, this does actually feel like a... A more quality figure because again I have bought other uh, McFarland toys one of the more recent McFarland toys and this definitely feels like an upgrade a masterwork if you will of the regular um, McFarland uh, figures uh, the paint job is uh, really great I do notice some I do notice some issues uh, with paint 
very small things, things that you can't even see like on a regular camera, but if I look really, 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 really closely, I noticed. But you know, you're 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 making figures like this, you're going to have little things like that. You know, it's it it's it's unavoidable, unfortunately. But as long as it's not, you know, really big things like again, uh paints like it, like black parts on on this white thing or the eyes messed up or what have you and I don't care you know because I'm not looking for you know absolute perfection uh, especially with a first time Kickstarter this is actually the first time that I, I've, I've backed a couple Kickstarters like things like uh, comics like I back uh, Common America and stuff like that you know just little things here and there I've never done like a game or uh, stuff like that it's, it's mostly just comics oh and that's uh that uh, mindless self-indulgence album uh, that they did like way long ago. But this is the first actual like physical toy product I've ever gotten with a Kickstarter. Obviously a lot of them have been going on, a lot of them for like, uh, I don't wanna say knockoff lines, but inspired lines, you know what I mean? Or just like newer properties that get uh, toys off of. And this is the first time I've ever actually backed a, uh, a toy Kickstarter because it's a property that I know, it's a property that I wanted to support. And it's a pretty cool looking figure. And just by getting this, this figure, you know, even though I had to wait a bit, even though there was some issues with shipping, I didn't even think about it. You know, I back this project and like with most Kickstarters, I just wait for it to show up. You know, I don't obsess over it because I know it's going to show up and I just wait for it. Now, obviously, if I hear in the news that like, oh, this uh, Kickstarter is on the, you know, nobody's getting anything and there's no updates. And yeah, I'll look into it. Like uh, I had a friend who backed the uh, Evil Dead 2 uh, board game and he got screwed <laughs> along with a lot of people. I'm actually glad I didn't back it uh, specifically. I didn't have the money at the time, so I couldn't back it. I'm glad I didn't because ugh, I did not want to go through that headache. But again, with this Spawn Kickstarter figure, uh, I definitely am glad that I backed it. I'm definitely glad uh, that I got this figure. Uh, it's a shame that it's not going to be a uh, a widespread retail release because I think that this uh, figure is something that every uh, Spawn fan or Spawn collector should have. Although, to be fair, if you are a, a big Spawn fan or you are a big Spawn collector, you probably already backed it and you probably already have it. So this is really just a, a, a something to... Uh, just to put out and kind of show off that I have this if you weren't able to get the Kickstarter. <laughs> but it's also something that would hopefully they'll do more of these Kickstarters, they'll do more figures uh, for these lines, and hey, who knows, maybe they'll do a re-release of this uh, particular figure in another Kickstarter. Maybe it'll be a stretch goal, maybe it'll be an add-on, who knows? But I would keep an eye on the uh, McFarlane toy uh, Kickstarter uh, page just to be sure that uh, you don't miss out on uh, something like this because again i do feel as though this was worth my money again i don't remember what i paid for it specifically but i feel like this was worth it this is a great quality figure comes with a lot of great accessories a great uh looking detail in this again this is only classic i only got classic i'm sure there's plenty of other people who who are doing uh things with the other uh figures this is just my experience with just the one figure that i got just the one classic figure and i i can say 100% that I am happy with this figure, I'm happy with this purchase, and I'm happy that I backed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, spend uh, some time trying to find some uh, places to, that I can put this up to display it. But uh, until then, I do wanna thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, I hope that you will give it a like and uh, subscribe for more content. I do plan on coming out with more content, kinda really trying to figure out really what I wanna do uh, with this channel. I'm kind of getting, I've tried to make a couple of review and showcase videos uh, the past couple weeks, and I haven't really been able to get into it. There are just some things that I feel like I need to put out content, but I'm kind of forcing myself to do it, and I don't really want to do that. I mean, it's not like I have an obligation. It's not like I have a contract and I have to put out something for advertisers or something, so I should really just take my time more often. Uh, but I do have some series planned, and in, uh, in, including a, uh, a full retrospective of a full run-through of a certain series, uh, that you'll find out pretty soon. Plus, 
Obviously, I still have my uh, My Hero Academia light novel audiobooks, uh, which I plan to record another uh, part for that very soon. So look forward to that. Uh, if you enjoyed it, if you got this figure, go ahead and leave a comment what you thought about the figure and if you felt that it was worth uh, backing this Kickstarter. And until next time, I'm the one nerd, and that was just my opinion. Stay safe out there, guys. Seriously.